Couching Fire, aka Ente's Long Lost Dad, aka He Is That Guy, is the new paradox form of Ente, introduced to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with the Indigo Disc DLC. And this Pokemon is simply amazing in Gen 9 competitive singles. Couching Fire is only been out for a short time, but it has already shown to be one of the most threatening Pokemon in the Gen 9 overview steer. We ranked an A plus tier Pokemon and one of the most used Pokemon as of right now. Might be kind of unexpected because, you know, Entei is trash. Which really begs the question how did the Alpha Dog Couching Fire turn into the beta bitch that is Entei? Anyway, what makes Couching Fire so top tier in Gen 9 competitive singles? Let's find out. So, Couching Fire's stats are simply great. Compared to Entei, this form is significantly bulkier, though it's slower and just as strong. Couching Fire has had that added Dragon typing as well. Dragon Fire is an amazing offensive typing due to it having unresisted stab, with Fire being able to hit Steel and Fairy types for massive damage. Couching Fire is the only Fire Dragon type that actually does this typing justice. Unlike Reshiram, which is historically a bit bad in the Ubers format, and Turtonator, which is, I mean, Turtonator, so enough said about that. I guess Mega Charizard also is a thing, and it's the GOAT, but Game Freak decided to delete my guy from the game and pretend it never existed, in, so rest in peace, Charizard. Hey, wait a second, wait a second, what is Astro Lotto though? Nah, <laughs> they really cap it with this Pokemon. Get it? Cap? No? Please don't click off. There's only one problem though, with Gouging Fire being a physical dragon type. Physical dragon moves tend not to be so great these days. Its only options are Dragon Claw, which has a respectable base power, but tends to fall behind in damage. Then you have Outrage, which certainly does not lack any damage, but it's very punishing since you get locked into using it for at least two turns. This makes revenge killing and taking advantage of Gouging Fire very easy. This is especially the case with fairy types being very common, not to mention getting confused after. And to be fair, I would be confused too if I was a ferocious dragon killing machine, but got walled by a literal fly. Type matchups are truly a fascinating thing. For fire step it's not lacking anyway though. It has the powerful flare blitz or heat crash as a nice alternative if you don't like taking recoil damage. So Okay, this Pokemon's base attack is kind of below average and it doesn't even have good Dragon Step. So what makes it so good then? Well first this Pokemon has Dragon Dance, boosting its attack and speed, turning it into a very powerful wall breaker and sweeper. This is great as it allows Gouging Fire to somewhat offset its lower speed stat. Gouging Fire can set up Dragon Dances with ease thanks to its typing and bulk. This makes revenge killing it not as easy, despite being outpaced by plenty of faster threats. For example, Iron Boulder cannot run it kill Couching Fire with Mighty Cleave, and the same goes for Earthquake from Centaur's Exodrum. Couching Fire also has Morning Sun for some reason as a healing option, which makes it way more durable and allows it to take full advantage of its bulk. With this it can stay alive for a very long time and set up multiple wall breaking and sweeping opportunities throughout the match. A defensive terror type like Fairy makes this even more potent and gets rid of its dragon weakness as well. Lastly, this Pokemon has the perfect coverage as well with Earthquake. Just when you thought your Heatran with Flash Fire would be the best wall ever to it, it gets taken down by Earthquake. It's not even uncommon to see Earthquake being used over a Dragon move, which speaks volumes about the aforementioned Dragon moves as a whole. This Pokemon also has a signature move, Burning Bulwark, which is basically the same as Painful Bunker from Toxapex, but burns instead of poisons. This move is not bad, but it's usually not preferred over other options as it is a bit passive for Gouging Fire's playstyle. Now just like any other past paradox form, Gouging Fire also has the ability Protosynthesis, which boosts its highest stat by 30%, which is attack in this case. So a very obvious pairing would be putting Gouging Fire on Sun Teams, right? It's the first fire type paradox Pokemon, which means it can take advantage of stat boosted and Sun Boost Flare Blitz on top of a free stat boost, and also having increased healing on Morning Sun. 
This makes Dragon Dance even more potent on some teams and very difficult to shut down if you don't have a sturdy fire resist. If you are really, really that guy, you can use a choice band on this Pokemon and tear fire for absolute destruction. Let me check my notes on Pokemon that can deal with choice band, terra fire, couching fire on the sun. Give me a sec. Okay, there are no Pokemon. Great Tusk with a defense boost, nearly 1 8 KO'd by Flare Bits. Toxapex, yeah, nice try player. Dondozo, 2 8 KO'd. Try better next time. Even if 4 times resist, like opposing couching fire, still takes 50% from Flare Blitz. Now even with all that raw strength, Choice Band comes with some very significant drawbacks like taking massive chip damage from hazards, not being able to take advantage of Dragon Dance and Morning Sun, which is basically where the strength of this Pokemon lies in my opinion. So Choice Band sets are absolutely crazy on some teams, but will wear this Pokemon down quite fast, and Dragon Dance just does the job just fine. I want to note though that this Pokemon is still extremely good outside of some teams, but it's even better when you use the one. Aside from Gaussing Fire's great offensive presence, it's also a very good check to other dangerous threats. Gaussing Fire can switch in and shut down threats like Golden Go, Volcarona, Iron Moth, Superior and Rillaboom. This gives Gaussing Fire plenty of opportunities to set up. And as mentioned earlier, offensive counterplay only truly exists if Gaussing Fire has been chipped down beforehand, which makes it difficult to revenge Dragon Dance Couching Fire so strong that it's had talked about for a potential suspect test, as there's not a lot of counterplay to this Pokemon. Thanks to its fire typing, it can easily beat a Whitby check like Skeletors, for example, due to its burn immunity, and is able to beat fairy types as it's not weak to them, and even a water type like Alamomola. This Pokemon does have some checks to it though. Tondoso is a hard wall that can shut down any Dragon Dance set thanks to its natural bulk, typing, and unaware. Both Primarina and Azumarill can wall its step moves and threaten it back with powerful attacks as well. Ground types like Great Tusk and Lander Steel are able to tank a Flare Blitz and threaten it back with Earthquake. Other ground types like Gliscor and Tinglu can do the same, but are not able to one hit Kyo Gouging Fire though. Archelodon is able to leave any hit as well and can threaten back with Draco Meteor. And Summon Center Hero can easily take a Flare Blitz and Iron Defense after, but only if it has not used its Dauntless Shield ability yet. A lot of these Pokemon will still lose to Gaussic Fire if it does decide to use Terror Fairy though. Let me know your thoughts about Gaussic Fire in the comments. Do you think this Pokemon should be banned from China and OU? Or is it strong but not strong enough to be ban worthy? If you enjoyed the video, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you are new. And thank you for watching and see you next time.